Hey guys, what's up? It's Alice and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to talk about this little website called Rent the Runway. And then I am going to list my top 10 pieces that I have rented from this website in the last year or so. So Rent the Runway is a website where you can, well it's in the name, you can rent um, dresses or bags, shoes. You can either do like a one-time rental of four days and eight days or there are two different plans that you can subscribe to. It's the unlimited plan and the update plan. So for the update plan, you basically rent four items a month and then at the end of the month, you send it in and you get four new items and then basically you're on the cycle. But with the unlimited plan, you can get four items and you just rotate them whenever you want. So like if you wanted to keep one longer and change the other one the next day, you can do that. So they ship to you pretty fast. It's usually about a two day shipping a lot less if you live in New York City and also you don't have to clean it because they'll dry clean it for you yeah it's pretty cool I've tried all of the above and I really really like it so if you're like me and you hate wearing the same thing twice but also don't want to go shopping this is a really great way to minimize shopping and look great the downside is if you don't live near a store, it's kind of hard to figure out sizing sometimes. They don't really have the exact measurements on the website. I've definitely had my fair share of clothes not fitting me and it's pretty disappointing since I right now I have the update plan. So I can only get like four items a month. And another small con is that there are times when there would be like a button missing here and there. It usually for me, at least it happens a lot with wrap dresses. Because like when you wear wrap dresses, there's always one little button here where you... It's like a hidden button that you use to button and cover your chest area. And the last two times that I've gotten wrap dresses, those buttons have been missing. So it's just a little disappointing. But overall, I really like Rent the Runway. I've been using it for couple of years now and it's a great way to look really fancy without having to you know buy a completely new outfit or pay a lot of money all right so for today's video i am going to list my top 10 pieces that i rented from rent the runway in the last year or so i usually rent items mostly for events and weddings but lately i've also been renting them like more casually just because like if I wanted to look good on a weekend or just on a regular day. Like this dress is from Rent the Runway. So I'm going to start with the most recent thing that I've rented, which is this crop top. I actually wore it in one of my videos recently. I have been super into crop tops. I always have been. But once the weather gets nicer, I'm always itching to wear crop tops. This particular crop top is a little awkward if you have slightly bigger boobs because it's kind of short and it's not very forgiving because there's no shirting in the back, it's just a zipper. So it's a little short and it kind of just barely covers my boobs. But I really like this style. I'm super into like poofy sleeve crop top these days. It feels very summery and very cute. The next item on this list is this black dress over here. I've also worn this recently in my Outfits of the Week video and this is one of the most talked about dress in that video. It just makes me feel really really fancy and really sexy but it's also very summery, very flowy and it's really perfect for the summer. I can't wait till quarantine is over and we can go out again because I'm definitely going to rent this dress again and wear it for a night out. The next item on this list is this beautiful navy half off shoulder dress. I love off-shoulder dresses, but I think at the moment I like these like one off-shoulder dresses a lot more. I wore this to my sister's wedding dinner back in Malaysia. And it's that perfect like sexy cute, which is my whole brand. I mean, it has a cute little bow on the shoulder that makes it super cute. But it's also really form-fitting and short, which makes it sexy. The next thing on this list is this black dress over here. I think it's more cute than sexy. This this like silhouette makes it super cute. I wore I wore this for a Nyx Brothers event in St. Kitts and it was just really really comfortable and I just felt so cute in it. I can definitely see myself wearing it on a night out here in LA. Next on this list is this Elizabeth and James white dress. I wore this for Halloween last year when I was an angel. 
With this zipper, you can choose how conservative you want to be. If you want to have it zipped all the way up or if you want to zip it all down. I really, really love Elizabeth and James dresses, but you really have to know your size before renting because it's not very forgiving at all. There's like no shirring whatsoever. But I really like how this dress fit on my body. It's just perfect. Moving on, the next thing on my list is this really cute lacy pink dress. I think that it's a really cute day dress, like just for the weekend. When I rented this, I went out for a picnic in the park in San Francisco. So I think that it's really cute to wear during the day, but then also you can wear this at night. I just really, really love this shade of pink. It's like that perfect pastel pink. And I really, really like this lace, but I remember it being sort of a hard-ish kind of lace. So not quite as flowy and comfy as I want it, but this dress is still super cute. All right, next I have these two dresses. So I'm putting them on this list together because these are usually the dresses that I like to look for when I'm renting something for a vacation in the summer. This green one, I rented it when I went to Hawaii, and this purple one, I rented it when I went to Cannes. I mean, I really love maxi dresses for when I travel in the summer, like on summer vacation, to somewhere warm and sunny, like summer beachy. Maxi dresses are just such a staple for like summer vacation. But I also really love these two silhouettes. For this longer, tighter style, I like to wear it more like in the evenings for dinners when I go on vacation. It's like not overly formal, like you feel like you're still on vacation, but it's still a little more formal than like, I don't know, beach wear. <laughs> and this style where the silhouette's kind of like, like this and the dresses are shorter, I like to wear for like a fancy lunch while I'm on vacation. So for this particular purple dress, I wore it when I went to Cannes and had a really, really, really fancy lunch by the Mediterranean Sea. Next on this list is this long, flowy, navy gown that I wore for someone's wedding. I love this dress so much. That was the only time I actually left a review on the Rent the Runway website because I just like loved it so much. This dress is so like flowy and comfortable and I like the off-shoulder details on this. Also, it makes me look really long and skinny, which I always like. And the last item on this list is this adorable pink bag. I love this bag so much. It's so cute, it's so versatile. You can wear it as a backpack or you can have it sling across your shoulder. It's so perfect for vacation or even just like for a weekend or I don't know, maybe to work. I just compliment all of my outfits. I love it so much. I miss it. I should rent it again. Right, so that was my top 10 items that I rented from Rent the Runway. Those are all still available on their websites. I double checked. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about all of my favorite Rent the Runway pieces that I've rented. This video is not sponsored. I just really like Rent the Runway a lot especially for events and stuff because I hate wearing the same thing twice. Let me know in the comments below which, which of these outfits are your favorites. And if you have tried Rent the Runway before, let me know in the comments below what your experience is. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.